Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. <laughs> if you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. You can also find my shirt store, my website, my Etsy shop, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon, Ko-Fi, you can go support me on there. Um, if you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do page donations here. So Aquarius, before we get into your reading, let's talk about something. So. In the comments, you'll find like this full moon intention wishing spell. And if you click on that and you click donate, you can get a gift, like a random gift, which can either be a stone, a crystal, a pin, a shirt, or so on. But it'll be a random gift on what you get. And um, set your intention on what it is you want while you're donating. This is an intention spell for this next full moon that we have. All right, Aquarius, whether this be money, love, home, whatever, right? As long as it's positive, all right? No negativity. So, Aquarius, let us see what spirit has in store for yourself. What is happening for a sign of Aquarius, my favorite little squiggly line sign? have number nine with eight immortals Aquarius I don't remember what this card is about so we are gonna have to read it number nine Aquarius says, the messages you have been receiving that are unconditionally loving, fearless, and encouraging of you to grow and be your true self are from your higher guidance. The eight immortals and other beings of divine light and divine love are guiding you. It is safe to follow these messages now. Doing so will bring you greater joy. Okay, so of course, you are receiving messages, all right, like psychic messages here, or intuition, all right? You may have been questioning whether or not that's actually higher guidance. It is. It's telling you to trust in that. So sometimes you may question whether you are in contact with genuine spiritual guidance or engaging in wishful thinking. Genuine guidance is simple, clear, and repetitive. When you ask for a confirmation, it will come. The more you open you are, the more quickly the confirmation can reach you in the form of signs, conversations, and serendipitous happenings. In fact, confirmation and guidance can be instantaneous and from multiple unconnected sources, like the universe is playing a joyful, loving game with you. The guidance will be uplifting and helpful. Sometimes it will ask you to take a step that feels challenging, and yet true guidance always proves itself in that it only asks of you what is right and just for your highest good. Always serves the highest good of all involved in any situation, no matter what our fears might be. It is good to be careful and discerning about the quality of guidance that you are seeking, but it is usually an easy task to identify when guidance is not of any higher vibrational variety. It will be judging of you or others who do not feel right. Genuine guidance, even when challenging, brings a sense of rightness and peace into your heart, whereas lower vibrational guidance or thoughts or wishful thinking does not bring you into any deeper peace. It simply confuses and confirms judgment. It isn't as nearly as helpful. Sift through your thoughts and feelings to come to the genuine guidance and true spiritual knowing within you now. You can call upon the eight immortals and any being that loves you unconditionally and trust that you will receive quality guidance. This process below will help you to be still and connect with it through your own heart, beloved, which contains great wisdom and peace to guide you. There's a healing process. Let's take a pen and some paper or your journal and write a letter to the higher guidance that loves me unconditionally and let them know what you need guidance on or what guidance you need confirmed or revised. Write the letter, read it aloud, then seal it up and place it in a sacred space, perhaps in your journal or with the crystal on top of your, in your bedroom or meditation space. Close your eyes and visualize eight beings of unconditional divine love all around you. Say, I call upon those beings that love me unconditionally to assist me in providing clear, helpful, and unconditionally loving 
and true higher guidance in answer to my question. Thank you, beloveds. Namaste. So then it says, let go and come back and reread in two weeks. Time to see if your question has already been answered through your life experiences to that date. If not, read the letter again and ask to be shown the answers in the way that serves your highest good by repeating the visualization and request if necessary. And here's a prayer. I call upon the eight immortals that love me unconditionally and shine the light of peace and spiritual power upon me now. You understand that no matter what happens in life, there are blessings underneath of it. Please help me find my clarity, wisdom, guidance, and truth to reveal the blessings and grow now. Stay beloved. Thank you for your help. All right, Aquarius, set some messages for you. So, let's get to know some trying to yourself. All right, Aquarius, we have that of Virgo. So you can have those placements or one around you. We have these two dragon lovers, one being fire, the other one being water. We have Hathor. You have this Egyptian snake goddess. You have awards coming in. There's a big breakthrough here, Aquarius. There's strength. There's deep going to a spiritual initiation. There's, there's confirmation coming in. Alright, I meant to say communication. But there's confirmation coming in, apparently, as well. Confirmation of, like, where you're supposed to go, I guess. What you're supposed to do. What's your answer, right? So, that's all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also go to my Etsy shop. Um, you can also go support me on Ko-Fi. And the full moon intention wishing spell in the comments. Alright, Aquarius. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.